Okay, in our vocabulary list, the first word is boulder. Boulder. When you say this word, it you you feel like something big and round, right? Boulder. A boulder, of course, is a large rounded rock made by weathering. What is weathering? Well, of course, weather. It comes from the word weather. Weather is like rain. If it's sunny, that's a certain type of weather. If it's rainy, that's another type of weather. But of course, we talked about this in an earlier unit. Over a long time, rain, wind, snow, freezing, melting can have an effect on rocks, and it can make new rocks. And boulders, of course, big pieces of rock. Uh, that are carved really by the wind and sometimes by the motion of landslides and things like that. Rocks will break up and they will become smooth because they'll wear away and they're round. And we call these large rocks boulders. This is a really large rock, isn't it? That's a person standing next to it right there. So imagine how big that rock is. So of course, you know, boulders can be bigger than. You know, many houses put together. Of course, boulders can also be smaller, but they have to be a certain size. I mean, if you have a rock like this, that's not a boulder. But if you have something that's pretty big, it's heavy to pick up. You could call that a boulder. Okay, but a small rock, no, that's not a boulder. It's a large rock. Okay. Next, we have limestone. Now, limestone is a gray-colored rock used in buildings. It's a very uh, uh, hard. Uh, rock type of rock. Of course, there's many types of rocks. Some rocks are harder than other rocks. Some rocks are very soft and will crumble easily. But limestone is very tough, and people will use it to make buildings because it's tough and it doesn't、uh, crumble or break apart easily. So that's limestone. Next, we have marble. Now, marble is also a very strong type of rock, but it is it can also be a very beautiful type of rock. It's a hard rock that is shiny when cut and polished. So usually, people will cut like sheets of marble. If they find marble, of course, it's just rock underground, or sometimes it's exposed because of the weather. But when people will find that, they will. They will make it's kind of like a mine, but they call it a quarry. A quarry, and what they do is they they will go in, they will cut like pieces of rock, and you can cut like square or rectangular slabs of marble, and then you can use that in your building. A lot of people like to have marble countertops. In their kitchen, and of course, there are many different types, many different colors, designs, and so. And when you polish them, they look very beautiful.、And、of course, they're very strong and and resistant. So when you know somebody's in the kitchen and cutting and cooking and banging pots and pans, it doesn't hurt the marble. So many people like to use marble in their kitchen on top of their countertops. Okay. Next, we have mineral. There are many minerals, and minerals are found in rocks. They are useful substances. Use, we, minerals are useful substances. If it's useful, it's a type of mineral that is formed naturally in the ground, just like rocks. Okay, so minerals are different types of useful substances found in the ground. What kinds of minerals are there? Well, we'll, we'll find out more in the lesson. But there are many different types. Graphite. Graphite is a type of mineral. Now, what do we use graphite for? Well, first of all, it's soft, it's black, and it, it it's not a hard rock. If you put some pressure on it, little pieces of it will break off. And in fact, it's very useful when you think about it because if you have a piece of graphite, you can put wind. Well, you can put wind. You can put wood around it, so you hold it, and the graphite doesn't mark your fingers. But if the little piece of graphite is sticking out at the end, that of course is a pencil, and you can write with it. So when you write with a pencil, you're actually rubbing part of the graphite, that mineral, onto the paper, and it stays onto the paper, right? So it's a very useful mineral, obviously, for writing notes or to write messages to other people, and of course. We use those in pencils, and also、uh, what you what you call、um, uh, what what do they say?、Uh, click pen, or、uh, we call it a mechanical pencil. I forgot what、uh, 
Uh, many people sometimes call it, but it's a mechanical pencil when you have just a little thin piece of graphite and you put it into a, it's like a machine, a pencil, and then you just click the button and it pushes the pencil or the graphite out as you write. Okay, so that would be a mechanical pencil as well. Next we have quartz. Now quartz is another type of min mineral and it's a hard mineral that is white or colorless. It's, it's actually kind of... Uh, Nice looking. Many people will use quartz to decorate things, but we also use quartz to do something else. And we'll talk about that in the reading passage. Okay, so that's quartz. And quartz is a very interesting rock, right? It forms these crystals. Now, many minerals will form what we call crystals, right? And it's the chemical, it's, it's the way the molecular structure, it, now I'm getting too deep here, but the molecular structure of the mineral will form itself in a certain way to make a crystal. And that's what we have here. We have quartz crystals in this rock. Okay. Concrete. Concrete is a hard building material made using limestone. So actually the Romans were very famous for uh, using and developing this technology. They would use, they would make concrete. They even had concrete that they could make underwater to build many of the amazing buildings that the Roman Empire built, both in their city of Rome, but also in, uh, you know, the aqueducts and other, many other cities in their empire. They used concrete to build their buildings, the hard building material, and they could shape it. The nice thing about concrete is that you can shape it into the shape that you want. It's wet at first and you pour it. It's like a liquid, but a very heavy liquid. You pour it into a, a shape and then it gets hard and then you can use that for bricks or columns or really anything uh, to make your building with. So uh, it's a very useful uh, building material. Next we have carve. Carve means to make something by cutting into it. And usually people will cut into wood or stone. Of course, if you cut into wood, you just need a, a sharp knife. And be careful, obviously, if you're going to carve a figure. Some people like to carve little animals or little people out of pieces of wood. You could also carve a, a walking stick. You can make interesting designs with a knife on a piece of wood. But if you cut stone, you can't use a knife, right? You have to use a hammer and a chisel because a knife is not sharp enough to cut rock. But a hammer and a chisel has enough force to very gently carve away the stone. And you look, this person is a very good artist. They're very skilled because they, they know how to use the hammer and chisel to make very beautiful and detailed carvings. Okay, next. Statue. Of course, a statue is a carving made out of a rock, usually marble, but you can also make them out of stone, other types of stone or metal even. Well, metal is easier because you can heat metal so it's a liquid and just pour it into a form and then you don't really have to carve it. But anyway, an object made in solid material such as a stone or metal. And of course, this is probably a very famous uh, statue. Uh, looks like Greek or Roman uh, uh, era statue. Many Greeks and Romans uh, made statues like this of the famous people or uh of people who are in legends or myths, they made statues of them to remind them, and it, it's a part of their culture. It's also a very important art form. So, a statue. And we can see many statues today as well of famous people. Okay, so those are our words for the lesson. Lesson 8 Rocks and Minerals Boulder, a large rounded rock made by weathering. Limestone, a gray colored rock used in buildings. Marble, a hard rock that is shiny when cut and polished. Mineral, a useful substance that is formed naturally in the ground. Graphite, a soft black mineral used in pencils. 
Quartz, a hard mineral that is white or colorless. Concrete, a hard building material made using limestone. Carve, to make something by cutting into stone or wood. Statue, an object made in solid material such as stone or metal.